Previously on Reg and Crane. I'm your brother, and your partner knew the whole time. So both of you were lying to me? I'm a grown man, damn it! I don't need protection from my partner or my brother. And Victor Valentin wants you dead. I need to protect you. Stop dead, you bastard. Carly's my wife. The nurse's skull was a fraud. I can't go outside. Can I stay with you? Carly, thanks for letting me crash your last night. Sure, anytime. Hey, that, stop. Can we talk for a minute? Sure. I know I lied to you. I'm just hoping that we can start fresh from, from the beginning. Um, I have something I want to show you. These look like divorce papers from your first husband. That's right. No more husbands, no more scholar. Just me and you, you said. No, I'm not sure, but as long as you're sure there'll be no more secrets, no more lies between us. I'm positive. I'm clean. Found you. I've been looking for you all night. Where you been? I was at Carly's. Carly's? Mm. After everything that's been going on, everything in my mind, I needed to pray. And she was willing to let me in for the night. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Come on, man. Hold on. You spent the night at Carly's after everything she put you through? You slept with her? Would you like to know? Look, man, I'm, I'm sorry about what happened with Patrick and me not telling you he was your brother. He swore me to secrecy. He had joined the police academy and then he disappeared afterwards and come to find out he joined the mob. And remember I was telling you about Gavin Smith? Mm -hmm. yeah. Well, it turns out Patrick was working for Gavin Smith to get info on Leon Scully when he was married to Carly at the time. And then he double-crossed Gavin, turned around and worked for Scully to get the dirt on Gavin. And I think Gavin's did from what he's telling me. He told me your life had been threatened, and he swore me to secrecy after he told me y'all two were brothers. All this came out right after I shot him. He's my brother and you shot him? I had a reflex. He was trying to run. Look, regardless of what happened, we gotta solve this case and put this behind us, man. We gotta move on. What do you say, partner? For now. For now. With everything that's going on, I'm thinking about leaving. Wait, what? I'm thinking about stopping the tech geek. Wait a minute, we back on this again? You said this before about not being a tech geek. And then I talked about leaving? No, no one is going nowhere until this case is solved. Regardless, we got to solve this case. I agree with you on that. Let's wrap this up. Chad, Chad, Chad. Welcome back. I got your message. What's up? Oh, you know, I wanted to check and see how you were doing on that little tech issue of ours. Uh, I ain't done yet. Not done yet. Well, what's the problem, Chad? Uh, he, he's too clean. 
anywhere that I can think of he can be at, he's not there. It's just, he's, he's too clean. Too clean. Too clean. Are, are you saying this is beyond your capabilities? No. No, I can do it. Okay, good. But uh, since we're on this, we never really discuss what do I get out of this for killing Spinelli? What do you get out of this? What do you get out of this? You get the satisfaction of doing your job. Or I call someone else. And they tell me they've done your job. And they've eliminated you as well. Do I make myself clear? First of all, say another day or so should be enough, don't you? Oh yeah. Good. 48 hours then. No problem. Yeah, hey listen, I need moving assistance for uh, Chad Gibson. Yeah, just make sure he gets from where he's headed to where he's going. He might need additional help. Hey dude, we gotta talk. I just got Leo in the Victor case. Dude, what are you doing? Something I should have done a long time ago. And now I can do it now thanks to Victor. Techniques. Damn shit. 